We use it as an excuse to wear green, say everyone's Irish, and day drink, but what is St. Patrick's Day? To explain St. Patrick's Day, we have to start with St. Patrick. Who was he? Was he a leprechaun? Is that where those limey bastards came from? No, leprechauns are a form of fairy whose name may have roots back to the Roman festival of Lupercalia who first appeared in the Middle Ages. They spend their time working as cobblers and being chased by people looking for wishes, gold, or lucky charms. I mean, they are magically delicious. No, St. Patrick was a real person, most likely, though we aren't sure when he was born or died just sometime in the 400s, most likely on March 17th. Plus, some of the information about him may or may not be mixed up with the first bishop sent to Ireland, Palladius, but we'll work with what we've got. He was born in Britain while it was still under Roman occupation, and around 16 he was kidnapped by Irish pirates. Yeah, Irish pirates. He was held prisoner for six years, and that time converting completely to Christianity. And eventually he followed a voice telling him it was time to go and that his ship was ready, and so he escaped, traveling a couple hundred miles and gaining passage on a ship. Supposedly, the ship arrived in Britain and everyone left the ship, but started wandering the wilderness for like a month. When they were close to starving, Patrick prayed for food, and soon after, they came across a herd of wild boars, which fed them and converted all of them to Christianity. That's what was written down, that's what we're going with. I wish I could see what people believe about Superman in a thousand years. We don't know a whole lot about what he did in Ireland, other than spreading Christianity, refusing gifts from royals and nobility, or at least paying for any gifts he received, which the church wasn't a fan of, or possibly excommunicating someone who may or may not have been a king. But then we get to the legends about the man. He used the Shamrock's Three Leaves to explain the Trinity to converts, hence its connection to the holiday. He purged the Island of Snakes, though that was earlier credited to St. Columba. And we know that Ireland has been snake-free since at least the last Ice Age. Yes, Ireland is snake-free. There are no snakes in Ireland. Unfortunately, for five old, the same can't be said for cats in America. Many believe this whole casting out the snakes thing was a metaphor for him driving out the druids, but it's debatable. Like I said, he supposedly died on March 17th, hence why it's his feast day, and he was made a saint by local officials rather than the Pope, so technically, according to the Catholic Church, he's not a saint. His feast has become a celebration of Ireland, and it was mostly pushed by the Irish outside Ireland, seeing as St. Patrick's Day parades in America date back to 1762, whereas Ireland didn't start having them until 1903. Now, when it comes to drinking being attached to the holiday, it's an interesting answer. Is it attached because of the City Dionysia festival that the Greeks celebrated near the same time and involved drunken processions and theater? Nope, it comes down to Lent. No, not the stuff that people refuse to clean from the filter in the dryer. Seriously, is it that hard to clean the Lent filter? This video is brought to you by the letter C for clean the Lent filter. Sorry, anywho, the Feast of St. Patrick falls during Lent, a time when Jesus fasted and so others are meant to do the same. And this meant no drinking except for feasts like St. Patty's Day, so drinking became an important part of the feast. And eventually, we just dropped the feast. And then we get to green. People wear green, dye beer in rivers green, light up buildings in green lights. There's a lot of green involved with St. Patty's Day. Green became associated with Ireland because of the story of Goidel Gloss, the mythical ancestor of the Gaelic people and creator of the Goidelic languages, imagine that, which include Irish and Scottish Gaelic. He was the grandson of one of the builders of the Tower of Babel, which, for those unaware, was a tower that was built with the intention of reaching heaven. And when God saw that everyone was getting along, working together, and building this great work, yeah, he didn't like that, so he made it so that they spoke different languages and then scattered them across the earth. Basically, there can never be peace on Earth because of the Tower of Babel. Thanks, guys. Supposedly, Goidel was bit by a snake and was healed by Moses. Yeah, that Moses. And where the snake bite had been had turned green. He was then to take his people to a place without snakes. Ah, see, it all makes sense. Also, gloss is the Irish word for green. Furthermore, the flag used by Leinster was used by the Irish Catholic Confederation who ruled Ireland in the 1640s and green ribbons became popular by the 1680s. Since then, various rebellions have used green as a means of national solidarity and it just kind of stuck. Oh, and the color associated with St. Patrick isn't green, it's blue. The color's actual name is St. Patrick's Blue. <laughs> 